var der i. Og bare kan den ikke alt for nye hårders. Don't know if you recognize the music. Or can use your eyes and see this, the title of the video. It's gone home. Never played it. Use the arrow keys to walk. Oh no. Arrow keys, seriously? Oh jeez, I didn't know that. I know absolutely nothing about this game. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Vibes. Can you feel the vibes? Oh, you can actually use WASD. Okay, good. Oh, this is moving around a bit too quick. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Okay. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad slashed out anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Ooh, the vanishing of Sam. <laughs> oh, a Christmas duck. And a key. That'll do. Oh, there's we Caitlin there. We've left Amsterdam. Oh, automatic lane. Very fancy. Gear, gear face a wee wash and then makes me need a pee so let's stop that uh left shift okay cleansing powder Stephen King okay Anyone else get the uh, Stephen King Rules Hogan parody t-shirt from uh, Monster Squad? I did. I, I really like the art design. Always go left. 
Ah, I want that pencil. Give me that pencil. I'll take that. This is Sharpie. Give me the Sharpie. Okay, okay, right. Can't you use the phone? I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay. Sam, Daniel from the old neighbourhood called, he wants to come see the new house, call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo, the only reason I, ha I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Oh my god, that rings so true. Okay, let's close this door. Uh, is this a lamp? Nope. There's another note. Directions to work. F to work from the home. To walk, maybe. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn. Exit on it. Okay. One hour, ten minute to walk there. Okay. Don't get keep that. Balls. I'm gonna stop grabbing everything. <laughs> oh, track runner. No, oh, don't put it in the floor. I'm just going to try and get it to every room. Okay, we have a locked door. We've got a mission. Find this key. Pack of cards. Newspaper cut. Okay, controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of a forestry service run control burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. <coughs> so this was the year before, October 1st, 1994. So this is 1995, we're in the... Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 and 5, blah, 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 blah. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that could lead to wildfires in drier months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said Senior Conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Smoke will likely linger in the air through Janice. Let's remember Jan the name Janice. Keep wanting to grab all these pins. Holy crap. Temporary pairs. Bruce Pendleton to aid in outcoming burn out a range over the uh, blah blah blah. 
Janice Greenbrier, charged with supervision of transferred personnel. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, well, actually, Mom can't be dead because uh, the letter on the door said he didn't want Sam didn't want Mom and Dad to find out. <laughs> okay. There's no calendar. Oh, we're having a. Like, I love the different types of uh, handwriting. Really cool. This looks like it was like literally taken off an actual planner. Ballroom dancing. Hmm. Ballroom dancing got and so it looks like crack the big meal for Carrie and Sam. Okay, the cooking classes are so that a nice meal can be made for us coming home. What a welcome this is, after a year away. Cassette. Oh. A mixtape. Oh my god, cherry bomb. Oh my god. I want to see what else is here. Oh, I love it. I bet you there's a playlist on a uh, bunch of places. Can I keep it? No. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape, and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Lovely. I love that. I feel a little embarrassed. That might be a mixtape, it might be an actual album by Bratmobile. I can't remember who did Cherry Bomb. Well, it was a cover anyway in the 90s, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Mm. Is this my room? It's, uh, it is a radiation area, so let's keep out. Just getting a sense of what the house is. Let's uh, leave this searching through every single drawer for a wee bit later. Let's see if there's any obvious, uh, obvious notes lying around. I think I walked by a wee notice board here. Let's have a wee look. Whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and I'm therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me and yet you... I like how the, uh, the, the wee emphasis on the three. Uh, you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter Samantha. That's very, very cute and absolute proof that she should not be going into the city by herself. Uh, Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel caught again. He wants his Nintendo game back. That's funny.
Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Willy Nilly. Holy crap. Mary Kazan. Point our sisters. Linda Ronstadt. Get me there. I guess this is the parent room. Is that's what the uh, that's what the poster on the wall is. I'm not going to snip too much in other people's room before we've actually been to our own room yet. Okay. Oh, crouch. We have a crouch. Wait, no. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam, oh. Sam is a sister, I guess. Ghost Hunter Journal. Now we're getting into it. Remember we're in uh, these notebooks were very, very cheap. Sighting journal. Oh, there's been sightings and this was a year ago. August 1994 at 20 past one. Then there's a sighting at quarter to one. Then 11 past, well, basically 10 past four. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? He was not wearing my glasses. Came okay, September, a faint voice came from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. And then a wee bit later, poured milk from carton and fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Underline. Moo and then ooh. Also ghost milk is in. Very sweet. Uh, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. If you've never done that with your friends in your teenage years, you never lived. Uh, Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Stubborn messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. <laughs> According to any signs of otherworldly presence, Lonnie reported many sightings but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around four. All in all, a successful night. There's all my stuff. Give me it. Give me my stuff. Okay. What have we got here? Okay. Ranger Pater Mac has been in indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit's continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. Janice Greenbrier. Okay. Coaster and a tissue. You can grab whatever you want, just like real life, apart from this plant. The mess bits. They're great. Don't forget your costume. Sticky and lounge. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. 
Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. This game's gonna make me cry. Uh, what does that say? Oh, I can look at I can heavens to bet say nothing can stop me. Holy shit. I think I want to put everything in my backpack that I can pick up. It's a shame. Uh, let's get the lights on. Ooh. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Very sweet. There's the case for heavens to Betsy. Calculated. My hope is that uh, some youngins played this, loved it, and looked up the uh, looked up the tapes. What am I doing with this? It's a shame I have to drop that. Okay, what's this? Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage that had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sit. Oh, right, okay. So I know where we are. So I'm in the sewing room right now. We need to go into mom and dad's room, into their closet, and then there's a secret passage. Hell yeah! By the way, how rich are these characters? Bloody hell. I'll have a quick wee scan here. Wildfire. He saved her from the raging flames and then things really heated up. Okay. It's nice if this uh, game was kind of connected. I kind of want to see what this is all about. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Fair point. Let's go see if there's secret passages around here. Okay, we can't jump. Oh, oh, I think I saw. There we go. Pull the string! Pull the string! Okay, more map. Ghost Hunter's map. Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found three. One in the library, one upstairs, all one for you. Evidence of the supernaturals. Very cool. Right, I think there's one. Before we investigate that, let's have a wee look at this. I think I know where it is. It's one of these panels here. There we go. Oh, Ouija board. To open. Oh shit. Okay. Oscar wants to come back. 
Get me creeps. Get me creeps. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Uh, my mom is supposed to cook... This is before texts and... My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Emma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. <laughs> Todd wants to see it again. 715, okay? Don't barf. Ah, uh, alright, see you then. The little uh, cheeseburger barfing. Very good. Current vibes are 100%. Did I see the library? Where's the library? The library might be downstairs. Yeah, forget exactly where the uh, secret panel is. Let's have another look. Right, so it's off to the left. Oh, but we might be able to get it here. Oh, this effects. Oh God! Oh my God! Just shat my pants. Just shat my pants. Let's get a heal. Hey mom, dad and Sam, I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating a Le Petit de, Je de Jeuvenir and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. I got a book from the Shakespeare Book Company! When I was in Paris. That's so cool. I got a H.G. Wells that looked like it was from the 60s. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, and it was like two francs or something. Of you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam, one our bell. Weird? Why does that say weird? Just try to figure out what exactly is it the 12th for the 8th? So 12th of August last year? Cool. Oscar Doc Massan. Oscar Massan, 60 of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Massan was born on blah 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 in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well loved figure at the centre of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. Service will be held all around him. His survivors include his nephew, Terence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County, to, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. So there's a... There's a secret pass... This isn't the library, is it? Is this the library? Holy crap. Oh 
okay, okay. Right, so we found all the three secret passages. We figured out Oscar wants to come back. We didn't keep that crucifix. Where did it go? It's still there. Oh, the crucifix disappeared. Okay. Atmosphere. coming up with name. I think I just heard the door open. The unreliable prophet. That's been okay. So last year in November uh would have been in Europe. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay on. To stay under it. Not mind to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theatre Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. Boo! If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter, I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again, then everybody will be happy. Brent Kirkwood, Reviews Editor. Okay. Brent's a dick. Mm. We have to keep a bit of paper and write things down, aren't we? So, 0145. In that little uh, note. Oh, one, four, five. Oh no, the back papers just fell. All right. Right. Oh, I've written it wrongly, right? Oh, four, five, one. I have a little bit of uh, this calculator. Numbers are not my forte. It, oh, there's another one. What's this? Misfits. An all female Misfits uh, cover band. I would totally go see. Can I keep it? No. Oh. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. The game's going to make me cry. Uh, right, what's it? Oh, don't throw the book. Look at it. Stranger under my roof? for parents means they are so upset at their, their teenager wearing horrible horrible shorts 
He's got a skateboard. He's listening to probably rock music. And his shoelaces are untied. Eliza, my dinner. I just had my dinner. Uh, the teen years are fraught with change of all types, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't just affect the your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behaviour from the very beginning. As he or she first enters adolescence up through the end of the teen years, as he or she enters young adulthood. Practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of paediatric uh, psychology. Uh, women who's a mother or two teenagers prepare to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy and loving dialogue with the stranger under your roof. Eleanor Shepard at the Atlantic. Boo, the Atlantic, by the way. I'd never had such a good conversation with my daughter! Exclamation mark. Sean Gellher, Northwest Review of Books. Oh! These simple tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, actually. Just stay on the floor. Uh, okay. The spooks are open. For a game that's uh, all about the vibes, it's scarier than fear. Do you know that? The killing of JFK. Back into the left. Into the left. Anyone ever seen that uh, Seinfeld episode that's a parody of the uh, JFK? Not the JFK killing, but the movie. Okay. I expect to see the name of the dad on these reviews, but it's not. Oh, the combination. What is it? O oh, four five one. Oh, yeah. What do you mean closed drawer? Let me read. Right. Dear Mr. Mason, this is from Attorneys at Law, Public and Wise. Please find enclosed your original document and the typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter, Jeffrey Wise. Oh god, so oh oh oh, oh I'm never gonna read that. Uh so it's a will. Ask him a song. Possessing full competence of mine and Marion and after full survey of valued items to my name to hear about. Did anyone hear that? I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Wayne County, that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts. I hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money to count to my nephew. Right, so that's our dad, Terence Greenbrier. An event that said Terence Greenbrier should predecease me. Uh, then, and in such event, the bequeath to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children, as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. So that was in 1973. And that's it, with a hand rain. Okay! I don't think I can do any of that. It's not opening fully. There we go. Okay. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away, no. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Uh oh. John Russell's head swam, he felt great. Is it the same? Yep. 
Spino haven't touched his rope in hours. He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. Oh, what does that say? Process, processing his cyclex toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. Right, okay. I was writing this as drunk as fuck. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages has passed before, but now um, a man, they needed him. Now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it. How to assemble it, so he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time, and now he stood. There, on the bridge of the Starg ship, Archimedes, and of the vessel, because only he, who had saved the predestinate's life, president's life twice before, could helm the na na naive. The gods are angry. Crew to their destiny, the fate of the galaxy. Okie dokie. We all deserve to be in the bin. Come on, open. There we go. What we got here? Absolutely nothing. No, back you go. Wait, nothing under it. Okay. Ooh, a full space. Here's the fire. Dear Terence, I write on what I hope and imagined is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family, and my thoughts have often something something on your development, maybe, and welfare in the ten years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill, something I will understand something if you feel you something except this invitation. Yours very, yours very sincerely, Oscar. Okay. Nothing in there. never been so through so many drawers that even when I worked at uh, department stores underwear department never been so through so many drawers in my life okay close that drawer oh Pioneers here. Okay, this is a review of a laser disc player. So an early DVD player type thing. You say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, I'd be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular you can do better. Oh, there's some conspiracy stuff going on here. Let's have a look. Can I get closer? What if JFK wasn't JFK? Early space flight equals you utopia, advanced technology and World War II something time something. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese, US plus USSR coalition, back to basics, sent back all time to doubt, alright, they're writing like a conspiracy thing about JFK, paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome, Red Dwarf did it, Red Dwarf already did that, If anyone's not seen that Red Dwarf episode, the JFK episode, definitely well worth a shot. 
I won't spoil it, but it's absolutely great. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Um, wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, the issue will not be addressed. Black cat electrical. Okay. Okay. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean, it went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up alongside. Captain Black himself came out of the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never going to find the edge. There aren't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? <laughs> the first mate yelled out, we'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Okay. <clears throat> Terry, hey man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to do to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Actually, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature. And writing sterile reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor and tell him your old colleague, college chum Mike sent you. Here's the address. David Werner, okay. So it's the dad, it's the book dad wrote, it's the dad book wrote, the accidental saviour. November 21st, 1963, John Russell knows that the present life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Not just another James Bond, high class political thriller. Okay. Role model.
That was great, but I'm worried about uh, copyright. Uh. Oh. Fear of Blood is a brilliant film. Step past what in this boy meets world. Uh, Labyrinth, nice. Sleep Away Camp, oh my god. Whoever uh, was involved in making this film had the best taste. American Gothic, eh, hey, there's Red Dwarf. Homicide, Mork and Mindy. Oh my god, can we all go back to 1995 and just go back to TV? Oh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh my god, I just want to go back. Uh, Wonderful. Damn it. Kinda on the coaster. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? And Tommy at at the back behind you. Yeah, if you get this and write back. Hi Tommy, yes, I'm Samantha and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new. Maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask some something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it, I love the yes slash no. I tried that as a pickup line once. It, it failed absolutely miserably. Uh, was it, well, a pickup line. You know what I mean. Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in your family? Oh. <gasps> Oh, okay. So that's Uncle Oscar. Keep on. That doesn't make any sense because the uh, it can't be the Uncle Oscar because there was a news obituary and it was very uh, complimentary. What we bar like this? What we got? March the 8th, 1976, from the publisher, Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Saviour, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavours. Done. Right. Okay. Failed offer. Reproductive system worksheet. Samantha Greenbrier. Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper. Write reproductive system worksheet. Then choose one of the stories and rewrite it. Begin with the title and your name. Find the topic sense to begin your paragraph. Put the sense in chronological order. Make sure the last sense is a good concluding statement. So A is the menstrual cycle and B is I am produced in the testicles. 
Interesting. So Samantha chose the menstrual cycle a novella. That's funny, call that a novella. D me see me. So these are all sentences that Samantha had to put into her story, I guess. <clears throat> the early morning of September 1st, 1939, Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Weilum in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an old woman starts to develop. Essa's train approaches its destination. <laughs> Her heart races. Lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock, he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian troop. Over the reason of the storm, <laughs> over the reason of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station, a whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out to toward her dear Ben across eh, Boris across the crowd. Her eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. <laughs> Holy fuck, right. And the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and, for a, for a time, Borislav Huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn bed sheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive sets off to join the Polish resistance as the daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> That's great. That is great. About two weeks later, <laughs> it's incredible. That's great. I mean, Dave's gonna say that's great. Such amazing way of developing a wee character that's just funny and creative. But all these vinyls. Worth a bit of milk, could. Your failed author of a dad. Oh. Okay, so we're kind of off of a mission. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about stuff that's missing, Sam. More coupons? What a dice. What are we hoping to roll? Come on, six. Oh, that's a two. Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's one. That's not good. That's not good. Lonnie, so if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my lockout if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after six. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Street Fighter reference. Hell yeah. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. 
At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Okay, we want to go upstairs and check out the attic. I think that's what our next plan is going to be. And we've had an hour of the stream. something so I want to turn off the lights and close the doors and then if there is a ghost wandering around if the doors are open I'll have an idea of it so we don't really look in this room much I'll be all cool smell something in there. I want to read it. Chun Lee moves amazing. Beautiful. We might be at the stage where I need to kind of look through everything. Oh, what was that? Uh, to find a key. So I'm reduced. What, your number? Labyrinth, Chapter 2, Free and Thread. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single chain thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread? Nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moss that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice, the hairs on Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment, too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb top in his royal scepter. Shadow of his, shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention and then you... But the first mate interrupted, No, I am smaller and quicker and you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention and lead them on a merry chase. 
she held up the silk line, all traced by this invincible, in, invincible thread, of course. It does say invincible. It's a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. First mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his wait. No, no, the singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her, no use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop, even from across the yawning basin. Allegra could see the first mate's eyes go wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end, the unbreakable thread dangling limply. Its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran. So I've had this in like fourth grade. Holy, 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 holy Bible. What's that? Baller? No, oh, mitten. Hey. Oh, it can't be the same one, can it? Absolutely not. <laughs> wow. Icons. I've got that poster! <laughs> Love how much of it in the 90s Ice Cube was such a crossover into the kind of weirdo R.A. indie scene. First obsession was Nirvana. Steggy. So there's got to be the uh, the code for that locker's got to be in this room somewhere. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done. Did one of these pens just drop? I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed. These binders are annoying. Ah! 
Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. Uh, way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've, just, I've decided. Write me back, also there's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cool in them because guess what, they can't put this on a beeper. That's on a motorbike. Beautiful. The drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing now. Haha, ha, I like it. How did you know? Ooh, scary. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Very good. Wait a minute. Thought that was numbers there. I'm going to go crazy looking for this. I know what. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, is the combination hidden here somehow? Maybe. Mighty, mighty boss tones. It's a lawyer. Dandy Warhol's offspring. Black Francis. Mm, something on the back of the door? No. Okay. Is there a number on this? We, now we know we're looking for four numbers. something there. It's a magic green briar year one shop metal work in C minus not a challenging assignment metal plaque for family portrait reasonable subject but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents names I did not mean just add them underneath except the leveling on edges show more pride than work. So weird. Uh, okay, maybe might need to rule out this room to find the what code. Uh, Could be anything. Across my eyes, maybe the combination will be in this image somehow. No. Okay. this room I guess. Got anything in my backpack? to open, right, so it starts with O, turn, okay, so you turn right, then left, then right, to get the, the other three numbers, it's too open though,
Where was Sam hanging out most? I think Sewing Room, maybe? Let's try that. Again, this is like a spare room. Make stuff in here. Hey Sam, you were asking what my something ribbons meant. There's orienteering. This means the army thinks I am I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure trained. I'm a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes us. If you didn't think I was killed before, now you do, Lonnie. I'm team Lonnie and Sam for sure. Any chance of a clue in here? I must know. Probably won't buy like little clues a million times. Right, the Halloween show, we know that. Steam that. Lost. Into the wild go then. Let me in. Yeah, not really been in the parents' room. Not looked around in here. Rifle through a pulse, come on. Give me whatever's in it. Damn it. Just know that kind of game. Dear Mum, Dad, and Sam, I am in the tunnel. It's my se second passage through the tunnel. I'm on my way back from London. This time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the tunnel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. So the channel is the... Uh, is the channel crossing uh, between England and Belgium. Cool business card. Communication must become totally unconscious before we can stop it. William Burroughs. Another Bible. Any 
anything under the bed. Don't know why the combination for your sister's locker would be in the parents' room, but you never know. Not looked in here very much. Seven days. Which cast day? And then the fugitive one, the one tape. All the present men. Basic bitch type. What's this? Sound of music. Some family something. Inside edition. Silence of the Lambs, Bridge on the River Kwai. Okay. We can't put that back. Okay. Mitten. I like how they've kind of explained, obviously it makes sense to have a big giant this because the game can actually do shit, like if it was a console booth, there would be two rooms, the living room, the bedroom and a wee tiny wee kitchen, you wouldn't get much of a game out of that would you? After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, sexually, Reverend Alexander Michael. Actually, we should be picking up items that don't really matter because there might be a key under them. Lovely big bath. Okay. Can I flush the toilet? Yes, I can. Triple A game. Even if there's a key up there, I don't think we'd see it. Uh, okay. And there's the closet. What's that there? Matchbox. Oh no, my brain power is wasting. Ah, look, a ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Avoid the ghost, ghost mansion make your escape with your wits intact. Cowboy, the widow, the brother. Brothers. You have the shades you may encounter as you attempt to escape from ghost mansion. Very cool. Where did that crucifix go? We're back into the library. Okay. Uh, I'm considering taking a wee tea break now. Just go over the library and then I'm going to go boil the kettle. Oh, the magazine for men. The wound of wrestling. <laughs> Are 
before we exit here i'm going to uh take a wee tea break back in a couple of minutes
the day is brewed. Whole time I've been listening to the sound of that rain tripping the creaks of the floorboards. That very subtle soundtrack. I've just been thinking I really want to I really want to advance in this story right now. You're uh, just tuning in. I've got a new follower goal. I met my last goal the other day. Thank you to everyone who gave it a follow. I hit 30. I was stuck on 20, I think, forever. At 30 in the space of like 24 hours. It's really fun. Feels like I'm putting some time and energy into something that people are actually watching. Which makes all the difference. If you're watching on YouTube, check out my Twitch. It's, it's the same, same uh, name, Scream underscore Comrade. Right, let's see if we can get anywhere. Uh, we're back in the library. I guess we're going to just see if there's any more panels. Right, there is one on that wall, so I guess not. One, no. Because we've already been through all the rooms and there's no key, there's no combination. Just do a little panel search here. Is a no? So the attic, there's the clue that we want to find the key to the attic next. Where on earth is it? Get in under these panels. What's this room again? Music room. Do these little. Oh, is this where I found panels? Oh, that's a basement. The little lock door is a basement. Find the key, it might not be for the attic, it might be for the basement instead. Mm. Oh! Heaven at the edge of the world. Private, do not read the Green Glacier Part 2, Samantha. In 1992, Allegra and her scouting party peered down wearily through the dense cat. I guess it really is private. Allegra and her scouting party peered down wearily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. First mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry, Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal. 
reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted no and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. First mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then from the vat something began to emerge, a head of dark brown hair just like the first mate's. Then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet, but as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair and hands and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate, he, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice, Captain. The Amazonian Queen said, she's one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the Queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life and you can't have her. That's cool. Uh, what's this? Oh, 50 and 1. I'll take that. Completed combination. So 0, 50, 1. Okay. What's, what uh, actually does that? To open. Turn. Basement key. came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Very sweet game. If something's happened to these characters, I'm going to fucking smash all my monitors. Never play another game. Okay. Hey, we've got a new room. Nearly went back out. Okay. Let's hope none of the lights go off here. I'm never grabbing a smearing binder ever again. Dear Samantha, I would like to certainly thank you for, or cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. Fancy man. Quite. Dear Miss DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate, while on the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. 
Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha Greenbrier Esquire. different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments, Caitlin and Greenbrier. Oh, so this was the same. Why is there an X there? Oh, another plaque, Caitlin. Kind of amazing, intelligent, talented, lighthearted, important, and nice. Hold a string! I keep. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's a Bella, Bella Lugosi obsession. Oh, an old boiler. Where's Freddy Krueger when you need him? Samantha, dear Samantha, congratulations and I'm pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Programme for Young Scholars. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio and an acad academic record. I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of everything. The attached documentation delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the three reach full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded to exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all, us at, all of us at Reed College. Oh, is this what kind of gets in the way of young love? I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Rolanda de Sato, Hector and Marie de Soto, Santa and Greenbrier, One Arbor Hill. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson fly equals Moscow hubcap. Um, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mystery, mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. 
The last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing, racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. I have to spend so much time in the dark room. X-ray specs. Oh, I love polystyrene. Okay. Can't read the rubbish. I think that's mom's citizen stuff. Hazel Brown five at six. So she was Canadian, but became America. Okay. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along. A copy of your newly published book, an author's first published manuscript, is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognise my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalisation of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful, but the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly guided by genre cliches and implausible time story, science fictional, the sex machina. The great authors speak of their life's milieu in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts the thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. With Fraz love and encouragement, Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Greenbrier and the fucking head's been cut off. I guess uh, dad doesn't like doesn't like his own dad after that scathing review. Bloody three ring ball, uh, binders. Okay. So there's a dark room over here that is quite spooky. Although I've walked right by it. Oh, hold on. There is stuff in here. Okay. Postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Moulton Falls. I'm here on a stupid class chat, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon. But it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you come. Uh -huh. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. A very uh, intelligent way of writing a game. These panels in this house are fucking creepy. Okay. So we're in a new wing of the house, cool. Absolutely love the routing on this, oh my god. 
Uh, offer a promotion, and that's to... Your mum, I think? So the mum is like working in the forestry service and the dad is a published author but never only got one book published and I think he's a little bit going a little bit crazy about it. The Shining influence maybe? I want a I want a playlist inspired by this game. Stat. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever been around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she's home, she takes it out on you. Like because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry. Haha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of her cool and freewheeling the lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. Oh, and Sam's trying to learn a wee bit of Spanish because her girlfriend speak it all. Oh, it's a, uh, I'm scared of this corridor. I think I might have missed the door. Let's go back and have a look. Sam. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks American. I love it. Merry Christmas, miss you, treasure always. There's a wee skull somewhere. Rifle through the parse. We don't then. Annual forestry. Okay. Hi Jan, I got two tickets for EBWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to, so taste the music wears its rockly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich. Oh. Mom might be looking elsewhere. Have a wee wandering eye. We did find a book in the in the parents' uh, own suite about bringing back passion to a marriage. Zine, a zine. Oh, this is cool. Uh, you join the revolution, take a stand against Ghostman and the Patriarchy. Fight back. Oh no, it's more of a it's more of a comic. Like, uh, oh, that's cool. Send your message from the girl riot underground peel box. We started a, a zine. My mum, dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird, as you can see. The Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I want to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Duntell and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come through. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bill, probably. What do you make your dad feel like a piece of shit? He might be a piece of shit, though. Uh... Surely it was him that cut out the face from the from his own dad's portrait. Okay. Back to drawer hunting. 
what we got in here. Oh, there is a letter. First off, congratulations. Janice, uh, regional director, and I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? And then an engraved invitation call them back but in the meantime let's discuss this little item you had with our favorite flannel clad hunk what a blast but you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out you're sure there's something there you said he has an out of town girlfriend you're sure they're not serious okay so we have to figure out when we'll see back other next and he each other next in person enough with the letters oh you yeah, congratulations congratulatory margarita boss lady soon carol so mom's had a promotion and she's seen that hot stuff mr ball and type in the hot flannel oh this wee bit out there don't give up on this honey Right, I'm totally lost now. Where the hell am I? I'm here. Ah, uh, this is a dark room. It's better. Ratmobile. We can't use the phone. Congratulations on your new position. I've received your formal acceptance letter. I write to congratulate you on your new position, Regional Conser Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st. So that, we are we came back home in August. So, it's been a couple of months. We've been out of the... We have been out of the country. Oh, it's June now. Kate comes home this month. We'll call with the exact date. Boys look. Okay. Can't remember exactly. We go for eating here. Frozen spinning. I mean, in reality, if you're a teenager coming back home after a year in Europe, you're going to just chill out on the uh, chill out on the couch, eat pizza. I'm scheduled working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road, three seven. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson Blair request on your presence at the marriage of their daughter Helen Margaret to Mr. Richard Hattermack. I kind of want to go back out to the uh, the luggage now and figure out what the exact date is. Just kisses a head in the oven or something. I'm opening everything. Right, crisps. Cereal. Okay. Okay, it's it's a kitchen. I get it. I get it.
Right, so unknown dimension are publishers, guests, they're small. You know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the Peds, the Men in Black, or any other sort of creeping fascist all In fact, we are on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the head of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type of out there mass market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. Had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie like timeless works such as Message of the Snake Men, it's inside me, and Venusian flesh traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, we tried to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. Just a kind of forgotten portal on into 20th century civilizations, anxieties, and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick swinging heroes that modern suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild mannered and sure agent by day, reckless history, revised sociopath by night, is a twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the book to appear in brand new edition of The Accidental Saver and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimensions as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We want to offer you a portion of the proceeds. Contracts follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screen back into the sweating palms of the unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Last off. Kaczynski. Let's go. Ink can. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call uh, on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. Sis. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. I... Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not the, uh, that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they are gone. That'll show them, Lonnie. You are ghosts, never change. Very sweet. Okay, okay, okay. Right, uh, we're in the garage. Uh, we've got a locked room the attic is what we want there's a key to the attic somewhere already looked around here hmm Oh, we've got more panels that we can check. 
But I do want to uh, see what data it is right now. Look, figure out what's going on. Why is everyone missing? June 6. Right. What's that door? Run out the. Oh. Something going on here. Okay. Creepy sounds happening. So where's the... Wait a minute. I've not been in here. Okay. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. Part of me, my dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. Never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer, I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed. Things will be different and we can be together until then. Couples Council, Mom and Dad are at Couples Council on between June 3rd and 7th, so they are due back tomorrow, I think. Kaz, I can tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover is really something. I know you said that Unknown Dimensions isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It's reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. Hope this might be an exciting new direction for our own dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terence. So this is the new... You know, I sweat years since John Russell heard the call. Once twice he saved a president's life, he's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement, the days where he matured. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you save this time will be your own. Okay. Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. Wait, that was last night, or it's tonight? Secret door under stairs. So I'm in the greenhouse right now. Go out into the hall, straight over, and then there's a door right next to the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized that they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. 
and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Sleep in the attic in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it, and it was Lonnie on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Oh my God. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Burning down that because I don't want copyright strike. Oh my God.
They've got cats. They've credited the cats. Oh my god. Thank you for making an excellent game. Excellent. The only thing I can think of right now is You right now. Excellent. Very bloody good game. Uh, let's have a wee look at the Gone Home Wiki. Developed and published by the Fulbright Company. Let's see what else they make. So the team worked and lived together in the same house. Tacoma, I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that on Xbox, but I never actually got very far in it. It's horror. I'm going to add it to the list. Is it? Uh, more AR, rewinding kind of stuff. More sci fi. That's cool. It'd probably be a good game. Oh no! Sex employees remained. Fifteen employees, including ten women, had left the studio over the course of open house development due to Gainer's behaviour. Fuck. Steve Gainer was the designer. Fuck. I just got milkshake ducked over the last fucking two hours. It's such a sweet. Oh, hopefully they didn't write the fucking story. Oh man. Well, that's life. Fuck. Let's have a look at the trailer. Motherfucker, okay. What was the one that... Nortagen left? Uh... Oh, 
Oh, they fucked it. Oh, we fucked it. Great. Let's take our mind off by playing some framed. Oh, this is today's. What a fucking one-two punch that was. Really, really enjoyed the story. All the references, the 90s... 90s stuff. And kind of, the, the developer has a bunch of fucking allegations. Great. Great random movie. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, shit, what is this? On a boat in New York. I don't quite be Is it New York? Am I mixing up that building in the back? No, it's definitely well it could be uh like a ship from Asia. I think it's is it something like hard boiled? It's not. Damn. Some sort of 80s action John Woo film, maybe? Hong Kong. It does look 80s. I'm going to need another. Let's see if I, I can just submit hard boiled and see. Hmm. Oh, it's going to film, be a film I've not seen. You know what I'm going to do in future? I'm going to actually see if there's any weird allegations against developers of games that, that are on my list. That's really ruined it. What a fucking prick. Milkshake ducked to hell. Uh, oh, this is exposing my, my Hong Kong uh, action movie knowledge. Shit. Kind of dark. Need another, need another clue. Uh, what's going to be a semi decent guess? Semi decent guess I need there. This is from me. Don't know. Yep. Yeah, is there something I should know? Oh my god, there's a there's a 
that one with Jackie Chan and uh, who was it again? Shit, what's that called? Chris. Chris Rock? No, no, I don't think it is. Is it double something? Double impact? Or. Door's not coming up. Oh, damn it. It's, it's a film where Jackie Chan has to come to LA as like a private kind of, not a bodyguard. Oh, crap. What's that called again? Because there was like three of them. Double impact. Ah, crap. What is the name of that film? Jack of Turn. Ah, I can't even mind it. God damn it. I can't even mind the name yet. Wait a minute, this is the... And it is the film. I guess you can't even mind the name of the band. Something like Russia is well off with double impact. Right, let's pick a number. If the devil is six, if the devil is six. Uh, my brain just got fried by that fucking game. Uh, this this looks like the start of uh, that really crap Chris Nolan film. What was it called? Tenet. Should I come up with a killer one for six? And the, so the devil is six. Then God is six. Oh, uh. hmm. So that's not one where uh, Ben Affleck goes into the town that where everyone looks like they've just disappeared like moments before just watched the trailer for it the other week i don't think i can play this very long because i'm i'm actually losing my mind my mind my brain is fried I keep going to write double impact i don't know why double dragon okay let, let, let's skip this one Oh no, I don't think it is. Don't recognise it. This is the one that came out the other the other uh, last year about the kids. Creepy kids, it's like a Norwegian thing. Or at least Scandinavian. What's that called? The low the low uh angle. This no. Oh, this is the the body boiler film. Is it single white female? No, it wasn't single white female. It was else, but let's just guess. Mogul. Smoke a white female. I never actually seen this film. Just the the uh 
it entered the cultural consciousness thanks to the bunny boiler scene. Who is it that plays the Maddie in it? I've only seen the posters. I think it's uh, her that was Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Yeah. What's it called? Fatal Attraction. Okay. Right. Okay. I'll do some obvious numbers. Then next time I play, I'll just do... Uh, did it in 1984? Is this Platoon? No. Oh, it's uh, Apocalypse Now then. Yeah. Okay. So... Let's try 13. Hmm. Happy birthday to you. And it looks a little bit like uh, it's not, but it's... oh, another Nolan film. That was David Bowie as Nikolai Tesla. What what a brilliant film. Oh, can't see shit. Oh, is this uh, the Vivitch? Okay. End on a little random. The Cronenberg film, I think, with the twin brothers that keep swapping that they're gynecologists. So bad with names. The David, what if the answer is David Cronenberg's one where the two brothers keep swapping and it got remade into a TV series. God damn it. Yeah, it's that one. Can't remember the name yet though. Head Ringers. Alright. We'll wrap it up there. Very much and then. Apologies for the milkshake duck on a very sweet story. Really enjoyed it. Design was really nice. It was uh it was a fun game, it was under two hours. It's a lot of reading. You can only do it to handle those games every so often. And at least it at least it kept it short. And uh pretty cool references and all that kind of stuff. But then it got milkshake ducked by a complete arsehole. Anywho, 
That'll wrap this. This is the fourth game that I've completed in my horror series. Uh, the first was Still Wakes the Deep, then it was Dead Space Remake, then it was Fear, now it's this. Oh, oh. hey Nico. To be honest, uh, this, ga this game was more of a walking similar anyway. It was more chill, gone home, it was more chill, just relaxed, walking through. There was no fun slow-mo shooting people in the bum or turning them into skeletons. Just a little story and a game. Uh, and it turns out that the person who is the lead designer has allegations against them, which kind of ruined it all. So, anywho, unfortunate time in Nico. Uh, I gave you a wee shout out at the end of the fear, the fear video. I, I, I was sad that I wrapped that one up and you weren't around to see it. But uh, fear was fear was good fun. Maybe next time, yeah. Uh, hold on, I've written a wee list of what I'm going to do for my next game now that Gone Home is off the list. I think it might be Soma. Yeah, it might be Soma. Which looks really interesting. Well, let's watch the trailer for Soma, actually. And I'll start that up this week. Let me just get the movie screen on. You saw me guessing a movie. I was really bad at that. My brain is not working. So this is what I'm going to start for my next game. in the pilot seat dealing with the hell is this place sorry about that i turned it down because uh the credits for gone home were playing a sound they were playing a song that would uh copyright strike to me and i forgot to turn it back it makes you think about what it means to be human i mean if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves why wouldn't we do that about this place oh you knew look i'm obviously hurt blacked out pretty bad can't remember how i got here what do you remember then i was in the pilot seat dealing with some heat shields and that's my last clear memory what the hell how is this possible are you human pretty interesting it's been downloaded on my pc forever i've never played it <laughs> uh, yeah so hopefully i'll complete that next week that'll be the next project i'm looking forward to it it's nice to have some some things lined up i can complete them and then get them off my off my hard drive make space for some new games but there's a fair amount of games there that i still need to work through uh, all the games i'm playing are rated at least above 80 on metacritic as well uh, the only one i'm tempted by that's definitely not is aliens colonial marines 
But I'm saving that because apparently you can play through the story with another person. Which would be kind of fun. So I might save it because down the line maybe I'll get to know another streamer that's up for doing some really bad Aliens Colonial Marines game. Don't think the story's that long either. Yeah, it's like under eight hours. Yeah, Soma looks like a puzzle game. It's either Soma or Alan Wake, the original Alan Wake. And Alan Wake is much longer. So it wouldn't take me a week to get through it. But I'm kind of... I've not played Alan Wake, and I've not played the sequel either, but apparently the sequel's excellent. Yeah, but I want to play the first one before the second one. Yeah, it was only, it should still hold up, the first one. I think, I think it might be like 10 years or something. Plus it takes up a fair amount of space on my hard drive. So playing it and completing it and getting it off might make me switch to that. I'll see. If I, if I prefer more puzzles, I'll play Soma. And if I want a wee bit more action, I think I might go well and wait. I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Well, uh, Nico, thank you so much for uh, joining in. Right at the end as well. See you in the next stream. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.